Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Hi guys, and welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about recovery, and I want to show you how you can become more efficient and faster around the tennis court, but without getting any quicker. Now, there's a difference at the end of the stroke between most pro players and most recreational players, and it's about the base. You see, when most pro players make the forehand or backhand, they'll make the stroke and then they'll end with a wide base. And the simple common denominator of this, or the test of it, is that the feet are wider than the shoulders. When you look at recreational play all over the world, then what tends to happen is they might play a very good stroke, and now the feet are the same distance or narrower than the shoulders. Now, as soon as the feet are narrower than the shoulders, then there's a lack of leverage for pushing off in different directions. I'm perfectly positioned to jump upwards, but I'm not positioned to jump to the side. If I make the strokes and consciously practice so that it becomes a habit that I make the stroke and finish with a wide base, then now I'm perfectly positioned to push into any direction. In biomechanics, this is called a positive shin angle. If I'm narrower and I'm inside the width of my shoulders, I have a neutral shin angle and I'm positioned simply to push up. But as soon as my feet are wider than my shoulders, see how I now have a positive shin angle and I'm now able to naturally step in any direction. There's a couple of things that then result in this. With this narrow base, the first step is slow, clumbersome, and naturally small. I actually am establishing the base that I should be in at the end of the stroke. With a wide base, I now naturally am positioned to make a large step in any direction. So not only do I have one step less to make, but that first step is way more efficient and it covers more ground and it's faster. So this is how to become more efficient on the tennis court. And some of you might have encountered people who appear to be pretty unfit, but seem to cover the court incredibly well. This is because they're making this wide base and using a positive shin angle to cover the court efficiently and to recover fast on the court. You can do the same. And if you like my ideas, check out the books on Amazon. We provide very detailed information on the science, the biomechanics, the physics of the stroke. And then we give super simple solutions such as this. They're really clearly illustrated and everything is geared to be a teaching experience to help your game reach the next level. Or for a more personalized service, have a look at what we're doing with online coaching. I'm helping players of all ages and all levels all over the world. It's a unique blend of video analysis and then one-to-one -one training. For more information, email me or have a look at the website. So avoid that narrow base. Avoid being trapped with a neutral shin angle. Land wide, lead a broad base, and you'll find that you're more efficient and more effective in covering the court. You'll quite simply be faster, and yet it's easier. Thanks for watching, and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.